A geared motor is a DC motor that is connected to a gearbox. The purpose of the gearbox is to increase the torque because if you directly connect the DC motor to the output that you want to drive it, it would have a hard time moving objects. It couldn't carry heavy load. If you are new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. First, let's open the gearbox. We see four gears inside and it's being run in trial. Then let's run it again. As I stand alone. We'll prove it by attaching a fan to it to show you how fast does the DC motor spin. This time, we will run the DC motor being connected to the gearbox. As you have noticed, the DC motor's output is now slower because it is connected to a gearbox. The torque has been multiplied and the speed has been divided. In another demonstration, we will illuminate a light emitting diode with a DC motor. The pins of a DC motor are positive and negative. So you can actually attach a light to it, an LED. As you can see here, when the DC motor is spinning, the LED illuminates because there is current flowing through it. We will now measure the voltage of the DC motor by attaching it to a tester. I mean the two pins of the DC motor while it's running. As you have noticed, when the DC motor is spinning, the voltage increases, especially when you run it faster, you spin the motor faster. And when you slow down the motor speed, the voltage drops down. We have already shown to you what happens to the voltage when the motor is spinning. We will now detach the DC motor from the gearbox to show you again what's inside a geared motor. As you can see, the modules are divided into two a DC motor, and a gearbox. We will now open the gearbox 
to show you how do the gears look like inside. As you can see, there are four sets of gears that run in opposing directions, one clockwise and the other counterclockwise. We've just disassembled the gear box to show you its individual components. How big and small are the gears inside the box? We will now reassemble it to put back the gearbox in order after we have disassembled it. As you can see, the gears are interconnected. There is a concept of high torque and low speed, as well as high speed and low torque. We've just reconnected the DC motor to the gearbox. We are running the DC motor again. As you can see here, the motor is running slow because of being connected to a gearbox. 